Hey babe. What's up? Can you tell us about your goals and mindset as an artist? Um, as an artist, so one of my biggest goals is in streetwear, which is what I make, uh, is, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the creator Virgil, but he is like one of the godfathers of streetwear and he's worked with all these different companies and he's inspired so many black artists and just streetwear designers in general. So I really look up to him. And one, so every time I create, I'm kind of like asking myself, what would Virgil do, you know? Because his creations were against the grain, like he just created things. Some of it looked wonky, but cool. <laughs> and some of them were like, really like sleek and clean. Um, and so, my goal as an artist is to, you know, follow after Virgil's footstep and hopefully one day be able to work for, to be the creative director for Louis Vuitton myself, which that's a huge goal and I got a lot of work to do, but that's my vision and that's my goal. So every step of the way, what keeps me really going and it's like, you know, I want to get to that point and so I have to be able to create pieces that people are not only are they like, whoa, this is really cool, but it's like, whoa, this is visionary, this is different, I haven't seen it before. When I create a piece that's different and people go crazy about it and I haven't seen this anywhere before, that's when I feel like super happy. Um, you know, that's one of my biggest goals is to follow after Virgil's footsteps. Nice. Yeah. And would you, where would you say your mindset has been in the past couple weeks? The past couple weeks, honestly, my mindset has been like, <laughs> most of it has been like, holy cow, holy cow, like the business is growing faster than I ever imagined that it would grow. I started this business selling mugs because I just wanted to see if I could resell. And then once I was able to sell mugs, I quickly went into sell, reselling clothing and did really well at that. And then I was like, well, since I already know how the markets work, let me just start making my own clothes. And so my mom hopped on board with me and she's kind of like the uh, facilitator. She like, she has a huge background in clothing. And so she makes sure everything's done well. She does a lot of the sewing. I do a lot of like the visionary work, making sure pieces are getting done. I help with the machine whenever I can and I do a lot of the cutting and making sure everything is prepped. But if I was to sew everything, I'd be moving really, really slow. <laughs> but she's really fast that so she does everything. But yeah, so my mindset when I'm working lately has just been, uh, you know, holy cow, we're growing really fast. Like, what should we bring out next, you know? I never want to be compet uh, uh, not competitive, but like, I never want to be repetitive with what I put out all the time. So my mom and I are always like brainstorming, what could we bring out next? What could we bring out next? And that's a huge part of the thrill. It's like, bring out clothing that can sell, but also bring some different stuff to the field where people are like, oh, what are you guys gonna bring next week? and create a hype around the clothes. And people are stoked uh, about the stuff we bring out at the market. Sweet, any last words? My last words is, if there's something that you really wanna go for, go for it, but keep in mind that like, things don't happen right away. So it could take years, it could take decades for your business to take off. I wouldn't say my business is taken off quite yet, but it's definitely like, there's a lot of groundwork that's been done for it to graduate. And we're seeing that foot's like those things taking uh, effect up to today's day where it's like, you know, we're getting invited to different markets. We're getting people, we're selling out of items really quickly. People are like wanting customs, like things are picking up and the traction is getting faster, but that doesn't happen overnight. Like my mom has worked really hard in the fashion industry. I have worked really hard to like think of different designs, tried a bunch of different things I failed before in the past, and finally now I'm starting to see things take off. So my advice and my last words, it's like if you are trying to do your own thing, like have patience and put in the work and 
network, 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 <laughs> and try really hard, and things will slowly start to line into place, but not immediately. It doesn't always happen right after that all the time. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Welcome. There's no other way to go about it. And I will say, I feel like I've entered this chapter where I'm ready to be tired as heck. I'm ready to just put the work in and low key lose sleep over it because that's, what's, that, that's what has to be done. Now don't get me wrong, you should definitely be taking care of yourself along the way and I feel like over time you start to learn how to have that balance and how to take care of yourself. And I think I am doing better than I ever have before at taking time to listen to my body. What do I need? Do I need to take a nap? The past couple weeks, I definitely have had to stop and take like a two or three hour nap and I wake up feeling so much better and ready to go. I used to hate doing that in the past. I used to get really hard on myself anytime that would happen. But now, I'm just like, you know what? That's what my body needs. So yes, you gotta put the work in. You, you can't be lazy. I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You can't be lazy. You have to put the work in 24-7. But I think that part of putting the work in is also putting the work in to take care of yourself so that you can keep going and so that you don't burn out. So for me, right now, my mindset is in a very determined place. I'm determined to just keep going. I'm determined to develop these habits within my artistry that's going to help me to push forward you know we made the move to la we're ready to work our butts off more than ever we're ready to see if the city is going to chew us up and spit us back out or if we're going to be able to make it i'm not going to lie i'm definitely scared for sure i don't know what the future holds but i do know that it holds something really awesome for both angel and i as long as we don't give up. I feel like this is just really proper right now, so uh, let's switch this up. Okay, I just felt like that was just a little too proper. I kind of like like the, the home video feel here. You know, we're just, we're chilling, we're talking about being an artist, we're talking about mindset, we're talking about goals. Speaking of goals, let's talk about that. I am starting to discover I am one of those people that I don't think I have specific goals. I have an idea of where I want to go and what direction I want to go, but I don't have like, oh, I want to be a backup dancer for this artist. Oh, I want to be a backup dancer by this time. Oh, I want to choreograph for this artist, or I want to be in a music video for this person. I don't really have specific goals like that. I've tried making goals like that, but it doesn't work for me. I think for me, I just have to put the work in, I have to work hard, I have to continue to find the love and the passion in it and just move forward and seek out opportunities, whatever it is. And I feel like I work better doing that and then when opportunities come my way, I'm like, oh, am I interested in this? Is this something that's it feels right, it feels like me? And then from there, if I decide yes, then I'll go and do it and it'll probably open up more and more doors and more opportunities for me to wonder, okay, is this what I want to do next? or do I wanna maybe turn that down and try something else? I'm not yet at that point yet where I am getting offers like that. Right now I'm just focusing on myself. That is something to point out is that I am just focusing on myself, focusing on training. I'm not trying to get jobs or anything. I'm not trying to get noticed by anyone. I am strictly just training. I had to see if it was recording to be honest. I don't remember pressing record. All right, so speaking of training, right now I'm actually working, so, I got onto a training group that I auditioned for. It is training alongside Alexander Chung. If you're not a dancer, then you probably have no idea who that is. If you are, then you probably do know who that is. I have been looking up to Alexander Chung since I was 
in early high school years, basically around the time when uh, it was starting to become a thing to post dance videos on YouTube. And I came across his videos and I was like, who is this guy? Like, I love his choreography. He's so smooth. I just, mm. And I remember specifically two dances that he did. One was to Rihanna's Numb, and the other one was to Tank's So Cold. I think it's so cold. Anyway, the other day in training, he was starting to teach us a combo and he said it was an old one. And so I was like, oh, okay. Didn't expect to know what it was instantly. I knew what it was and he was teaching us the combo to numb. Guys, I used to watch that video on repeat in high school. I was like, I will learn this dance one day. Like, I will be dancing this. It was just, it was such a cool moment. Anyway, so right now I'm focusing on just being a part of this training group, making friends. I'm now starting to video dancers, getting back into videography, yes. <laughs> um, I definitely would prefer to focus on dancing, but I think being a dance videographer definitely is like a huge plus here because not every dancer knows how to use a camera. So if you know how to use a camera, I think it's kind of like a little, it's a little something extra, you know, that kind of makes you stand out in a crowd. Um, so yes, I am doing free projects for different dancers in the area. So far, I've actually met some really cool people, which is really exciting. Um, I have more projects coming up soon. I actually have a lot coming up, which is really cool. Again, I'm in this mindset where I'm like, I'm not gonna get tired. Like I'm, I'm just, or not that I'm not gonna get tired. I'm in this mindset where I'm like, I'm ready to get tired. Like I'm ready to just like power through and just keep a positive mindset. And I've definitely had days where it's not so positive and I'm struggling a little bit. Like we're always gonna get days like that, that's normal. But I just, honestly, what I've been doing lately is I just get up and dance. I get into some cozy clothes, comfort clothes, and then I just like put my headphones on and I start dancing and it's usually kind of like more like mushy, flowy dancing and then eventually I get super hyped and into a good mood. So that's my secret personally. <laughs> but overall, I will say, I think right now the best thing that I've done is just focusing on my training and focusing on just where I'm at right now and starting to really try to believe in the potential that I have because I think that we all struggle a little bit in believing that we can make it to these like higher goals that we have um, and this vision of us. I think it's hard for us to visualize us in like this amazing role that we want to be in but I'm really trying to actively start to believe that and trust that that can happen, that I have the ability to do that. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to move forward. And then there's Angel. Angel's killing it right now, let me just say. He has been going with his gut, he's been having these ideas come to him and he's just been, he's just been taking them and going with it. I think he's about to blow up soon. Like seriously, I think I think his business is about to pop and I'm very excited to see it happen. I'm ready, I'm waiting. All of us are waiting, honestly, all of us are waiting. We're like, when is it gonna happen? Like we just, we feel it, it's coming. All right, well, we'll catch you guys later.